In this video, we will learn how to set the control of the lift using IS-7. A lift is an equipment used to move a load up and down in the field. It has a very short acceleration and deceleration time and features that require brake control to secure starting torque and stop. The sensor signal installed in the lift and the brake control of the motor require a higher level controller such as PLC. In addition, a braking resistor is required to prevent over voltage trips that occur during operation. In this video, we will set up the PLC to replace the inverter of the lift, which is the upper controller. Two settings are required to use the inverter for the lift. First, wiring. Wiring is selected according to the operation method. Inverter operation can be divided into a method using a terminal block and a method using communication. In case of using a terminal block, wiring for operation signal, multi-step operation, and brake control signal is required. In case of using communication, install the communication option card and set it using parameters. Because regenerative voltage is generated due to the operating characteristics of the lift, wiring of the brake resistor is also required. Second, parameter setting. For parameters that need to be set, you need to set the operation method, acceleration deceleration time, motor capacity, multi-step speed control, and brake control. If necessary, it is necessary to set the operation according to the loss of command. Let's look at the basic wiring for system configuration. In this video, I will explain based on terminal block operation controlled by PLC. The wiring requires an operation signal, multi-step speed command, and brake control signal, and is connected to the PLC output terminal. The parameters of each terminal of the inverter are based on the factory default values. Since the lift is a device that moves up and down, the forward and reverse terminal connections are required. Connect to P1 and P2. P1 is forward direction and P2 is reverse direction. Multi-step speed will be connected to P5 and P6. When the P5 terminal is activated, it becomes multi-step first stage, and when the P6 terminal operates, it becomes multi-step speed second step. The following is the brake control wiring. The brake control signal can be sent to a higher level controller, such as PLC, to turn on and off the magnetic contractor to open and close the brake or to control the inverter by directly connecting the contact to the brake. In this video, I will explain how the PLC processes the brake control signal of the inverter to control the magnetic contactor for the brake. The brake control signal of the inverter should use contact A to prevent the lift from falling in the event of a trip or an abnormality in the entire facility. Here, we will use A1 and C1 to control. Connect it to input terminal of PLC. Finally, the brake resistor is installed. The lift generates regenerative braking voltage according to the rising and falling conditions. When the load is raised or lowered under no load condition, the regenerative voltage is not generated during motor operation. Conversely, if it rises under no load condition or falls under load condition, a regenerative voltage is generated in the motor and increases the DC link voltage of the inverter. Since there is a condition in which regenerative voltage is generated during lift operation moving up and down, it is recommended to install a brake resistor and a brake unit to prevent an over-voltage trip of the inverter. 
The installation of the brake resistor can prevent overvoltage trip caused by the DC link voltage rise by installing the brake resistor at the P and B terminals of the inverter. In the case of IS7, the brake unit is not built in from 30 kilowatts or more. So please check the inverter capacity and attach the brake resistor after installing the brake unit. In case of separately installing the brake unit, install it at the P and N stages and install the braking resistor. Please refer to the inverter manual for the specifications of the braking resistor and braking unit according to the product capacity. When wiring is complete, set parameters. We will set the parameters for lift control according to the previously set wiring. The parameters that need to be set are as follows. Set the acceleration deceleration time for lift operation. Here, it is set to 3 seconds each. The operation method is terminal block operation and the frequency command is set by keypad. Enter the rated current on the motor nameplate. Since the BR control is set based on the rated current of the motor, the correct value must be entered. Next, input the frequency for multi-step speed operation. First gear is set to 5 Hz. Second gear is set to 15 Hz. The BR control for the brake control of the motor is set at one relay. If the BR control is not set in the multi-function output relay, it will not be visible in the AV group. The open current of BR control will be set to 10% of the motor rating. Since the rated current is 1.8 amps, it becomes an open current condition when it becomes 0.18 amps. I will set the open frequency to 3 Hz and the closing frequency to 2 Hz. Open or close delay time is set to 0. In summary, the current is 0.18 amps when accelerating, the brake is open at 3 Hz, and the brake is closed when decelerating at 2 Hz. Finally, when the run command or frequency command is lost, the operation is set to free run. When a lost command is issued to prevent the lift from falling due to the loss of command, the inverter operates in free run and the brake is closed. Let's run the test. Apply the operation signal of P2 and the multi-step speed of P5 to the wired product. When the brake is operated while the brake is restrained, the current and frequency conditions of the BR control are satisfied. The relay source output is transmitted to the upper controller and the brake is open. When the lift passes the sensor at the top, it changes from the P5 signal to the P6 signal and it descends at 15 Hz. When it passes through the lower sensor again, the P6 terminal turns off and the P5 terminal operates and is set to 5 Hz. Finally, when P2 and P5 are turned off, it decelerates. When the closing frequency of the BR control is reached, the relay source signal is turned off from the inverter and the MC is opened and the brake is closed and stopped. When moving from the bottom to the top, the movement is performed in the opposite direction to the downward movement. When the P1 signal and P5 signal are applied, operation is performed. When the brake is opened according to the conditions set in the BR control, and it passes the sensor at the bottom, it switches from P5 to P6, and the speed increases. When it arrives at the upper sensor after passing the acceleration section, the signal changes from P6 to P5, and the speed changes to low speed. When the operation signal of P1 and P5 are turned off, 
it decelerates and the brake closes and stops. Let's take a look at the terminal operation sequence of the IS-7. I will drive it slowly to understand the sequence. When the lift operates, you can see that the previously set terminal operates. Thank you.